Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Um, haven't done one of these little video things in a while. I think it's been like three weeks or so, and I apologize for that. I don't really want to talk too much about it, but basically, long story short, it was just a combination of like, I just wasn't feeling smite, and I wasn't feeling like life, you know? Like, <laughs> I just wasn't feeling life, dude. Not like deep, dark depression or anything. I just, I don't know, dude. Stuff just seems stale for a bit. And with smite feeling stale, content creation, it just... I don't know. I didn't. I didn't feel like I was myself personally. Uh, so with that, with that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and start building here. I want to show you guys Robin because I've only played one Robin game, but it was actually really fun. Wait, maybe I played two. No, no, I think I played one. I went ability based, and I actually wanted to go auto attack by the end of it. But as you can see, this game, I actually liked it. I don't know. Like <clears throat> once you get Heartseeker online, you do a crap ton of damage. And I want to show you guys how much damage he does. And another reason why I picked him is because he's kind of like an easy god, you know? It's kind of like an easy breezy character. You can't really mess up on too much for the first video. So we're going to play the Robin boy. Group up the minions for my one. Pretty standard stuff here. Nice. We're getting some Pele, which is actually quite comforting because Pele does not have a good early game whatsoever. It's like she would have a decent early game if we just fought in the jungle or whatever, but you know that whole wave clear thing. That that pesky old thing, wave clear. Bonk. Dude, it took me I feel like that took me forever to do, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm like nervous talking. But it took me forever to do that. No, it definitely did because I don't have a jungle starter. And I'm used to having a jungle starter like 80% of the time because they're pretty broken. Speaking of which, by the way, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys all keep up to date with patch notes and whatnot. Like, some of you guys may know everything, and I've tried it out even more than I have. Some of you guys may not even know that there was a patch. I mean, some of you guys might not even be on Smite, right? But, dude, there was a big mid-season patch with, like, a Nickelodeon event and all kinds of other stuff. And needless to say, like, half the stuff they added to the game, <laughs> half the stuff they added doesn't even work, bro. Like, they had to remove one item already, like, two of the... I think, like, maybe three of the glyphs didn't work, and another item still doesn't work as far as I know. The, um, the hunter one, the one that makes you, like, auto-attack faster. I just forget what it's called. Bro, another reason why I picked Robin is because look at this skin, dude. I've actually... I don't play Robin very much, so ever since I got this skin, I thought it was super sick. But I never really got to use it because Robin, you know, wasn't really the greatest dual god. You know, he's not terrible. He's just not amazing. Um, and he still isn't amazing, but he's definitely a lot better. He's a solid character. Now, he went from, like, average, besides, like, certain matchups, like, against certain mages. He went from average to pretty strong, actually. I don't, I still wouldn't say he's probably, he's probably not a t top 10 character, but. Oh, I tried to immune that, actually. She shouldn't be able to outtrade me. You know another thing <clears throat> about Robin that I never really noticed is his the cooldown on his one is super low, which is crazy because it does a lot of damage. Like this is a this is a 2.5 second slow for 25% and it does up to 310 base in an AOE. Like that's pretty crazy. I feel like it needs to be that way though to like make up for his other abilities. I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know if you play more Robin, but I feel like his two and his three are like slightly underwhelming, I don't know. Maybe maybe people will disagree with me on that because the two is literally an immunity. Like, you know, what more could I ask for? Like, it's a pretty good ability. It's just like offensively, I don't know. Actually, no, I never mind, I take that back. Robin two is good because it, it gives you more space to, to line up another one, which is the offensiveness of it. Like you can immune abilities and then chase with it and hit them with another one, so I take that back. The three is a little weird though. It's just a little heal and a root, and roots just got um, nerfed with the DR changes. That's another thing. Also, maybe I should just do a video reviewing the patch. Ah, probably not. Probably not. That's another thing though that is a really big change. That I feel like a, a lot of people aren't taking it seriously enough. Like it's a really big change that roots got changed, and I think it's for the better. For the most part, I'm still a little salty because some of my favorite gods got big time nerfed with it. So I'm still a little salty, but realistically what they did is they made it to where roots are affected by DR now, whereas previously they weren't. 
And DR is just like a little stack of stuff that uh, your character gets. It used to be invisible. Now it's an actual debuff on your on your bar. But long story short, it's just if you get hit by a CC, the next one is going to be shorter duration. Well, they made roots have that effect now. So if you use your Artemis trap on somebody that... Hello. If you use your Artemis trap on somebody that's been CC'd like three times in a row, it's going to last like 0.3 seconds or something super tiny. I'm just keeping my distance from this guy. The, honestly, this is super tragic for him. Like a super tragic matchup. I don't really see his win con. But that being said, I literally never face Pele ever. So... Could very well surprise me. <clears throat> I've definitely had plenty of games where I'm like, there's 0% chance chat like because i'll be talking my stream i'll be like there's zero percent chance this guy can kill me here like there's just no way and then i just i die and i'm just pikachu facing but you guys know that that <laughs> you guys know the, the the pikachu face the meme i don't know how many uh, i think that's pretty big i think most people know about that but i don't know that's really my face because it's like one minute you think you got it all together and the next you don't Next, you don't. Hello. Also, sorry if I'm rambling a little bit. Like, I, <laughs> it's probably obvious, but I am a little bit nervous, bro, because, well, I'm just new to YouTube in general, but I also haven't posted in, like, two weeks. You know, you know how weird it is to not record myself playing video games with no, no music, talking to myself in my room, uh, at a, when you're, I, I haven't done it in three weeks. It feels very weird. I think I can just hold. I'm gonna, waiting for my 3 1 to come up. No! <laughs> I thought I used my 3. Doesn't matter. I would have got that kill for sure, but. So I thought I 3'd and then ulted. You know, rooting him and then ulting him. But yeah, that didn't happen, so. So either this game sucks or I suck. And I really don't want to suck. So that means this game sucks. Pretty much the only option in my opinion. We're going to go with that. Clearly a lag spike there. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I'm like... <laughs> I don't mean to like nervous ramble. Like I'm a rambly person in general. So it's kind of hard to tell one way or another. But I definitely am nervous rambling. Especially at the start of this video. You can probably definitely tell. But that's okay. I mean, that's bound to happen, right? Got to get back into the swing of things. I just like being honest with you guys. I don't know. Like, like I feel like it's just better to be transparent. Like, hey, guys, if I seem a little off, it's because I'm nervous. <laughs> like, it's because I just want to do a good job, man, you know? Which is weird. It's a, it's a weird feeling for me because I'm not used to playing games for people, like, on stream. Like, I'll stream in Discord to my friends or girlfriend, and, uh, I'll, you know, I stream on Twitch, and I don't really get nervous, at least not badly nervous. I'll probably go Brawlers here because he has a uh, Soul Eater. He's double stacking. I didn't even notice. I haven't checked his build this whole game. Um, anyways, I'm not, I'm not, uh, new to playing for people. Like, playing, like, pe sharing my screen to people. That's not a new thing for me. But for whatever reason, like, when I'm recording in silence... And I don't have the immediate feedback, like, you know, I don't have a chat just to the side showing me. It feels different. Feels different. But it felt different last time I got into a big time, you know, a couple months ago. Oh, wait, when I started uploading on this channel, it felt weird. And then it slowly went away a little bit, so. It's just the, the three-week break jitters, bro. The three-week break jitters. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna thorns this, to be honest. Ow, bro. Character's kind of pounding me a bit, but not too much. Like, I'll admit, I got a little bit shocked there by, like, how much damage she was doing to me. Definitely, but I didn't think I was actually going to lose the trade. Because worst case scenario, I would just run away. Or I guess that is losing the trade. I wouldn't have died, is a better way to put that. I wasn't worried about dying, but I was a little bit worried that I wouldn't actually be able to... I wouldn't be the one chasing them away. Like, they'd be chasing me away. So anyways, long story short, I was calm, cool, and collected through that whole thing. <laughs> not, not worried one bit. 
Too easy. I wish, man. Like I said, I don't play Pele ever, especially ones that just go full power. I mean, I guess this is maybe like a normal Pele build, but back in my day, it was either Soul Eater or Transcendence. You didn't get both of them. Get over here, sucker. Dude, I used my one twice. But yeah, we have anti-heal now, which is going to be absolutely massive. Oh, I'll put more anti-heal on him. Even though he can't really heal out of combat. <laughs> but well, I guess again, a little bit of a little bit of HP5. Did Robin feel so satisfying to play? I've I've noticed that a lot actually with assassins. I don't know what it is. Because I used to hate the assassin class, like, because I've played since, like, 2013. And from 2013 all the way up to, say, maybe 2017, 2018, I actually hated assassin. It was, like, my least played role. And I thought it was lame because I like front lines and or, like, like, if, my, if I'm going to play a character that does nothing but damage, it's going to be a ranged one. That's the way I always looked at it. But nowadays, assassins feel clean, bro. I feel like I just didn't play them for so long. Even though I've been playing them for many years now, those many years aren't that much in comparison to like the whole lifespan of my smite career, if you will. So it's like, I don't know, it just feels weird. Like I've noticed that um, gods like Tsukiyomi and Robin are some of the most like satisfying characters to me right now. So anyways, back to duel. <laughs> We're on this guy. I've noticed that I've done like, I'm. I bet you a bunch of Robin mains are just cringing right now. I've noticed that I'm not really toing all of her knockups. Yeah, we'll get this. I'm not toing all of her knockups, and that's for two reasons. One, I'm not paying any attention, and I'm just talking to you guys. Uh, but also because I don't really need to, you know. I, I've never really been in danger to where if I didn't to the knockup, I die or I drop the kill. So. While I should have been doing these knockups and immuning them, it doesn't really matter too much that I'm not, so. I will do this one though, so I can keep doing some damage here. Oh, also, I just realized my game sounds are like super high now. Ooh, maybe I should turn this down. I'm sorry. Okay, I don't know. Cause like, it was fine for stream, but I play music really loud. Let me know, guys. Let me know which volume. Assuming you watched the whole video and didn't skip to the end or what have you, or only watched the first couple minutes. If you watched the whole videos, let me know which one sounded better. I understand 10 points of volume is not that drastic, but still, let me know. 30 or 40. Let me know, guys, on the main volume. Even if it is a small difference, you can still have a preference, you know. I hope that doesn't ruin the video. I would assume 10 volume. I would assume if the, if the volume is just a bit louder than usual, that's not going to ruin the whole video, right? I would assume. Honk. But yeah, let me know. Now, it like just hit me that like, because I can hear myself pretty quick, pretty clearly. I can hear myself talk like, um, I don't know what that setting's called or whatever, like, it's just feedback, but it's like, it's live feedback. It's not like that annoying playback one where it's delayed. I can just, the point is that I can hear myself talk even without my headset on or with my headset on. And so like, I was like having a hard time hearing myself. I don't, <laughs> when I was fighting that Pele, the sound effects were so loud and granted that's also my headset volume, but my sound effects were so loud that I actually was having a hard time hearing myself. And I was like, wait, I wonder if the, I wonder if you guys would have a hard time. But I think my mic volume is kind of high-ish slash normal, so should be all right. Even if the game volume is a bit loud, you guys can just let me know and we'll fix it for the next video. I'm just going to leave since she sundered me and she very obviously wants to take that fight really badly. So I'm just going to ult out for now. She sundered me, but she's wasting it because I thorns. Bro, these fights are really close. <laughs> Yo, oh, and we got the Invader Zim announcer pack. That's good, cool, baby. These fights are really close. I think it's mainly because I'm misplaying, though. I don't know, because I'm not paying close, of a close enough attention to truly know exactly what I'm doing wrong here. 
like exactly every detail, but I I, th I have to be doing something wrong, right? Like, there's no way Pele's actually, you know, that good. It's not that I think Pele's bad. She's just like the epitome of like average, you know, like. I don't think she's bad. She just isn't good. That, that's the best way I can put it. She's not bad. She's just not good. <laughs> she's in the middle. Let me get this thingy. Dude, what if I just went 60% cooldown or some weird stuff? I think that's definitely weird. I'm going to do this. So when I was... Because I, I played with this exact build. By the, well, actually, I think I had Hydras. Instead of Brawlers, maybe? So Hydras instead of Brawlers, but pretty much this exact build. And I went Titan's Bane last, and it actually felt really good. I really liked the, uh, the Titan's Bane, but... Somebody suggested, which makes sense, because... I did it on Horus, like, a couple games before. So I was already, you know, in that mindset. Somebody suggested that I go... The new execution. Uh, Glyph. The one that caps your attack speed at 1.75... And obviously there's a big flaw with capping your attack speed, but not if you're playing a character that doesn't rely on attack speed, right? So like, I'm obviously going ability-based Robin, and while attack speed helps me a bit, I don't need any more than 1.75, so. Uh, if you're curious about the stats or what have you, well, I mean, I'll show you in just, just a moment. The item seems like it's like really, 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 really good and really maybe even broken for characters that use it well, but not every character. Like it's not a god, you, I mean god, it's not an item you'd build on every character I don't think. Where is it dude? Uh, heavy Executioner. So basic attack, basic attacks against an enemy reduce your target's physical protection by 17.5 for 3 seconds, max of 2. Your attack speed cannot exceed 1.75. So the two things to two things to see there is it gives more pin than normal XE does, but also it gives more pin in two auto attacks as opposed to the four. So you're getting more pin twice as fast. So it, I I feel like some people are just looking at that number, you know the the big seven point five percent reduction, and that's that's good, but like. It's more than that. It's seven, it's one. It's a seventeen point five reduction, and uh, it uh, is only two stacks. You only have to auto twice, so it's really strong. Dude, that does so much damage. I, I do have Brooch to be fair. Bluestone's gonna do a lot more damage at the start of the fight than it would in the middle of it. I think she's gonna go to that blue, but I'm kind of okay with it. Slash, don't care enough to walk over there. <laughs> I kind of just want to get the red buff and back for my item. I should do so much damage with this, actually. Wait, yeah, I'm getting the right one, right? Yeah. I should do so much damage. Oh, we can get a power pop. So I don't think we're cap CDR, are we? No, we have 30%. Cap with the red red buff. We're big chillin', big chillin'. But anyway, I think I'm doing okay in the video now. Like, I, I just need to get started, you know? Like, I think I'm doing okay, commentary-wise, with a little bit of rambling, of course, but that's alright. I think I'm doing okay now, but the start of this video was rough, bro. God damn. God damn. I, I know I'm like my, my... What the fuck? We'll finish that talk a second. Oh, is she gonna ult me because she's sundered? No way you're fighting into a Robin ult. Yeah, that, yeah, no way. Absolutely not the chance, not the chance. If, if, for those of you who don't know, Robin ult is a really hard thing to box into because if he hits you, which I didn't hit her there, but if he hits you, you take 10% more damage from everything. Like everything. 10% more damage. That's, that in itself is really good. But also Robin gets, I think, 30%. Yeah. 30% damage mitigation for 5 seconds. Now, I don't know if you got, you, you know, I don't know if you, Mr. Viewer, or Mrs. Viewer, or Toaster Oven Viewer, whatever. I don't know if how you feel about things, but, um, what's it called, uh, it's pretty good. Wait, I, I completely lost my train of thought. What was I even just talking about there? 
What actually was I just talking about? Oh, it's Robin Alder. Yeah, okay, I, I just remembered everything I was talking about. If I don't know about you guys, but 30% uh, less damage taken is pretty darn good. I'll grab this, this, and some wards. I, I feel like I started looking at the BDK, and for whatever reason, BDK just hit me with like a flashback memory of like taking my dog out this morning. I don't, I don't even know what I was thinking about. But I like walked over to do BDK or something, and my brain just completely shut down. Did I st completely stop talking about what I was thinking about? What the fuck? My mom just texted me. Bro, it's it's so funny, like how video games sort of like changed. I don't want to say changed, but developed me and my mom's relationship because me and my mom are like not the same at all like not even close like she's a bookworm and i'm a fucking sarcastic asshole who plays video games and my mom's like experience in video games is just like pac-man oh my god dude okay i give him props for trying to fight me but robin is just too good man too good Actually, I don't want to say that, because I don't want to, like... Dude, should I give him one more fight? No, no, that's, that's toxic. I don't want to say that, because, um... he I, I don't think Robin's OP. Like, I, I don't think he's, like, the best tool god or anything. I just think he's solid. You know, I just think he's good. Uh, the split just reset, but we are still GM. I, the only reason I'm mentioning that is because I was just thinking about, what even is my MMR right now? I actually would like to see. My MMR is 29. We just hit GM again after the split reset. And if, for those of you who wonder, maybe I'll talk about it some more in the future. Uh, but because that that video, I mean that game, kind of ended abruptly there a little bit. But basically, long story short, the the my mom and video game story is we didn't really have much to talk about. We didn't really have we didn't really bond over anything. But it, she, my mom started playing Pokemon Go and some other games like Skyrim and Red Dead and stuff. And so now my mom actually texts me here and there, whereas we usually never text. And uh, she texts me here and there now, and it's always about video games. And I just, I don't know, I just think it's so cute that my mom's like, oh, my mom's a gamer now. I don't know. Anyways, you know, for the people who don't give a shit, uh, I apologize for the little story. But I, I, <laughs> I just thought it was funny because my mom texted me and she, she texted me just now about Pokemon Go. Uh, but anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Again, sorry for the rambliness. Sorry for the I suck at YouTube thing. But uh, we're just going to get better and better, hopefully, as the videos progress. I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you in the next video. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.